What's going on guys? Welcome to another video. So it's Friday morning, 7.30, and I'm going to an estate sale. Well, it's called an estate sale, but it's actually in the garage, in the driveway. And it's in, um, right on the intercoastal waterway, multi-million dollar home. So they're advertising it as um, clothing extravaganza is what they called it. So it's mostly clothing. I saw some sporting goods type stuff. Um, not really, you know, from the pictures. They don't look like a lot of household things. But we're gonna go figure if someone lives in a multi-million dollar house, they must have nice clothing. And it's only like two miles from my house. So hopefully you get some good stuff, we'll get this day started. And then it's gonna be done so early that I'll probably hit like Goodwill and maybe one other local thrift today. So I appreciate you checking out the channel. And let's go make some money. Not the greatest they had some good stuff it's supposed to start at eight o'clock i got here at quarter of 20 of and it had already been going they already let people in and like probably the first guy in there he had a bunch of old nice hockey jerseys baseball jerseys etc so he did good but i um i got some good stuff a lot of golfing type clothing so i got a few you know polos i got some nice brand new sneakers masters hats perfume a bunch of other hats so not the best but decent stuff they didn't have any really like hard goods it was mostly clothing and just a few odds and ends so um you know better than nothing i spent 35 bucks but i'll comp everything out see what we got and i'm gonna go buy um since i'm out and about and it's early i'm just gonna hit a few thrift stores probably have to wait till they open to Goodwill. I'm gonna make a quick pass through. I'm not even gonna look at the clothing. Go check out the bins that come out on the floor because they're always sitting out there. Check out hard goods, shoes, bags, and I'm out of here. I just stopped at Target on the way here. Had to get a few more bins. So let's go see if this can be quick and then we're going to two more stores. Look at this brand. It looks like Uggs. Clug. So maybe if you're sourcing and you're drunk, you'll think they're Uggs. All right, so that was pretty decent for, um, 15 minutes I spent in there. I got one, two, three pairs of shoes and a few hats, which neither of those I typically have been finding, but all of a sudden lately, you know, I guess because I'm coming early and I'm finding them right off the cart. All three shoes came right off the cart, and in the hats, when I was looking at the bin, the lady came by and dropped them all in, and they're, they're all new with tags. So I was looking on Google Maps, and I often do that. I'll go around, I just enter a thrift store, and I'll see what pops up if there's anything new, you know, maybe in an area that I don't usually drive around. And I found one right over near the beach. I'm like two miles from there. I'm gonna go right over the bridge and we'll go check it out.
the VCR combo unit. Is that brand new? Or is that do you yeah, know? This one here is uh, the person that owned it told us that they uh, they bought it. They used it maybe I don't know about three months. And the guy said you just put it back in because when they got uh, the high end cable thing, they uh -huh. the on demand and all, they didn't need it anymore. Yeah, he has everything in there. I'll get that. Okay. Let me keep looking around. All right. All right, that's pretty good. New store. Fifty percent of our clothes. I got a couple pair of pants and. Uh, in the box said it was used only a few times by the owner. DVD VCR combo. And uh, it was 18 bucks for 30% off. All right, so we're back. It's actually Saturday morning now. After yesterday when I got home from everything, um, I was getting a headache and I had lunch and I just didn't feel like doing anything. So I just left the pile for the rest of the day. And um, this morning I'm gonna sort through it get it all photographed, documented, and then I'll just start getting things listed. So, we're gonna go through what I got at the garage slash estate sale, at Goodwill, and at that new thrift store. All right, so I grabbed some hats. Start off, John Deere camo hat. Still got the tags on it. Got a white Masters. I got a black Masters. The white one needs to be cleaned, but that's not a problem, and I'll reform them. Torrey Pines, which is a um, popular golf course. That's one of the PGA Tour stops. Got a 2003 All-Star Game, MLB. And then there's Whalers. It's an NHL team. But I just realized that it's missing the button on top. So I'll probably have to see. Maybe if someone will still buy it like that. Who knows? But either way, the hats were a dollar each. So they had the big clothing rack. I looked through. I was basically looking for this brand. Anything else good. There was some mediocre brands. But... Nothing worth grabbing. So another Peter Millar Summer Comfort. Size 2XL. It's got this like British flag and I don't know if that's a Sweden flag. But not a big deal. It should be alright to sell still. With a blue with like a mint green stripe. And like I said earlier, the guy that was there before me had a huge pile of all like really nice jerseys. So I only got this one. It's a Russell Athletic General MLB. Chicago Cubs, but it's a youth, size 12. And it's a Sammy Sosa, if anybody doesn't know who he is. He's a retired Hall of Fame player. So that should sell, you know, I know someone that sells a lot of kids' jerseys, and they do good. You know, not much, it might be 15 bucks. But it was only a dollar. They had a lot of t-shirts, but nothing vintage. And a lot of it was like local type stuff. But I was able to find this World Series, 2003, Florida Marlins versus New York Yankees. Majestic size XL and also has print on the back has the rosters So a dollar, you know, I don't know maybe 15 bucks for shoes They had a bunch of beaters, but then they had these brand new never worn no box Echo biome it's like some sort of running shoe. I've heard of echo, but I don't know these sneakers But he said since they were new you wanted 20 bucks for them and I said, okay because I saw comps that were Pretty good. I'll look better for this colorway, but they were up there. These were 20 bucks, and that was the majority. I spent $35 altogether. And once you started adding 20, and then there's one, two, three, six hats, and then a couple of shirts, he was at like 32. I still had some things on my lap, and he was like, just give me 35. So a bunch of the smalls he didn't really charge me for. But these should do as well. You could tell. Mint condition. And then some of the smalls I grabbed. Which basically didn't even charge me at that point. Just a brand new Mizuno batting glove. This BMW golf sport bag. 
I didn't even know what that was because it was inside a plastic bag and it had tissue paper around it. I just saw in the plastic bag it said BMW. So I grabbed it, figured it'd be something. And it's got golf tees that are stamped BMW inside. So just a little, it has a little hook you can hang on your golf bag. So a little BMW bag, not a big deal. Got this shock doctor, antimicrobial mouth guard case, and then a bottle of perfume. The brand is Tocad or Tocade. Never heard of it. Full bottle, I look them up, they go for about 25 bucks. And then the last item I got at the garage sale is this Adidas OKC Thunder. NBA, kind of like a warm up jacket, real nice condition. Size large. So that should do good as well. All right, and at the next stop at Goodwill, I spent $31. I got this pair of Nike Flyknit Lunar Ones in that colorway. No laces, but no big deal. Very nice soles. You can still see the writing. Look at that. So I just need a little cleaning, and they were $6. I got a pair of Dan Post cowboy boots, just in a black. Very nice condition. Those were $10. A pair of Chaco sandals, also very good treads. And those were six dollars and all three of these were right on the cart they had just brought out then i got some nice hats from the bin now as i was looking in the bin that was there the lady came by with the cart that she had out already and dropped these right in front of me so a tight list for joy visor one dollar auburn still with tags two dollars a range rover nike hat two dollars atlanta braves thank you dry fit with tag, $2. And another Lanta Braves, 47 brand, $2. And a couple of times I went to Goodwill this week, I go like at 9.30, and they got from 9 to 10 o'clock as senior citizens only. So I guess maybe because I'm in the chair, they don't say nothing to me, but they let me in. And there's only like two people, three people at most have been there both times. And I'm finding some good stuff. So, you know, as long as they keep that senior citizen thing, no one's really in the store that early, and maybe I'll get some good scores. I'm gonna try you know, a bunch of times this week as well. Now let's see what I got at that new thrift store that I found. So all their clothes were half off. I didn't really find nothing too good. And then on the one rack I was looking at, they were marked two dollars because it was a clearance rack. So these were half off of two, and I got them for a dollar. Vineyard vines, men's just a nice khaki mint condition, thirty-three by thirty, one dollar. And Ermin Geldo Zegna, good pair of jeans for one dollar. And I saw this up set up on top of shelf. Toshiba combo unit SD V394. It was Mark 20, but everything besides clothing was 30% off. Clothing was 50. So this ended up being like 14 bucks. Main condition with the remote. And it has really good comps as well. So here I'm gonna run comps now to show you so we can um you know, learn some of these items together and you know what they're selling for. Alright, I just realized I had my fan running. Hopefully it didn't pick up too loud in the background. But I don't want to refilm all that. So if it was, I apologize. But either way, I think I spent like $80 to $85 on everything today. I'll have to look to be exact. Alright, some decent comps. I'm definitely going to make money from that run yesterday. So I'm pleased with what I found. And I'm getting my inventory back to level. So if this looks different, I'm using my phone right now. Because of course when it rains, it pours. I just spent all that money to get my van that went bad and I dropped my Sony A5100 off my lap and broke the lens. It's just a ring inside that like makes the lens, you know, go in and out. 
and it's like a ten dollar piece and i looked at a video there's one to show you how to replace it so i'm going to attempt to do that otherwise it's like a two hundred dollar lens so that's going to wrap it up hopefully you saw some product maybe you learned about and you'll look out for it when you're in the thrift stores i appreciate you watching and i'll see you in the next video goodbye